Hey everyone, what up? Luke here from White Tech Review. Here with a review of the HTC Evo View 4G on Sprint. So let's get started. Okay, just to give you some general information on the tablet, this is the HTC Evo View 4G that's coming out on Sprint on the 24th, and it does run Android's platform. And this is HTC's first tablet device, and it's personally my favorite tablet out there right now. Um, because it just includes a really great feature that's its pen right here that I'll show you later. And it allows you to take notes easy, so if you're a student, or you just take a lot of notes, or you want to draw, whatever you want to do, this pen is for you. Because with the tablet, it just makes it a great way to be able to take notes and take notes in books, take notes... Uh, from a lecture, you can do anything with it. It's just amazing. But on top of that, it has Gingerbread installed, and it will be upgraded to Honeycomb, which is the tablet version of Android. This is a Sprint version, once again, of the tablet, and it has 4G support as well as 3G. We also have some other features, such as Sprint's navigation, and normal Google Apps, as well as some special features from HTC, such as a reader, their newspaper reader, which is called Press Reader, a uh, snap booth, which is like photo booth if you've ever seen it on an iPad 2 or iMac, or some sort of Macintosh computer, and things like that. And overall, it's just a really great tablet, and it includes so many great features. And just with the pen, it makes the tablet what it is. It gives it its own little special thing that other companies don't have. Because there's a ton of Android tablets out there, but this pen is what really makes this tablet this tablet. Just to go over some of the physical specifications of this device, we have a 7-inch multi-touch screen, which is really great, and with a 1.5 GHz Snapdragon processor, everything's very uh, speedy and smooth, and everything runs really fast and um, just really well. It also includes other features, such as Android 2.3 with the latest HTC Sense. And HTC Sense, if you don't know, is basically the skin it has on top of it. Um, and it gives it its look, so it doesn't just look like any other Android phone. And Android 2.3 is the latest gingerbread build, which works on mobile devices. But this will be getting the honeycomb build, which is made for tablets soon. It also inclu includes 32 gigabytes of internal memory, which is great, so you have enough room to store all your videos, music, apps, anything you could want. And it gives you, it's just a ton of room to store whatever you need. As well as uh, one gigabyte of RAM, which is a ton of RAM for this little device. This version also works with Sprint's 4G and 3G services I told you. And it also includes features such as GPS, Wi-Fi. You can use Google Navigator or the Telenav feature from Sprint. Um, on the front we have a 1.3 megapixel camera. And on the back we have a 5 megapixel camera. This screen also has a resolution of 600 by 1024 and it looks really nice when you're playing videos. It looks like it could be like 1080p, it's so nice looking. Um, it can also connect to things by Bluetooth like many other devices and it has a 400 milliamp lithium ion battery which gave me a lot of time to play with it. On the top of this device we also have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a sleep wake button, which are the usual places for them. On the side we have a volume rocker. On the bottom we have a charging port and a syncing port so you can add your media to it. On this side we have nothing. On the front we have a home button, a normal Android home button to bring you home, a menu button for the menus, a back button to bring you back to wherever you were, a 1.3 megapixel camera as I showed you before and this special pen button and what this does is with this special pen that you can get separately or it comes with it on Sprint you can bring up the pen menus and say let's go to the note taking app you can just take notes like you would on anything else so this is the paintbrush so I can draw something or write wet tech, whatever I want, scribble, move to a highlighter if I want to highlight something, here's a pen. I mean, it lets you do whatever you want, and it's really great for taking notes. It also has some other features, such as 
a highlight button. The bottom button's a highlight button, so you can highlight things. So if I had text, I could highlight it. And the top button's an eraser, so you can just erase all this mess without having to go and actually select an eraser, which is a nice feature. So you can just start erasing, and then you can draw again, and then erase it, and do whatever you want. On the back of this device, we have a 5 megapixel camera which takes amazing photos, the HTC logo, an Android logo, and a Sprint logo. And this device has really great specifications, which is why it has such great features. Okay, just to go over some of the features of this device, there's many, but the main one I will be covering is this note-taking one. But just to go over a few others, we have a reader app. So you can read something such as under uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. You can just open up the book, and once it's loaded, the reading experience is much like you would see on an iPad where you have that paper-like turning effect, and that just adds a really nice effect to your um, book reading, and it just makes it a really nice experience while you're reading, which was really nice for me, and it made me feel like I was reading an actual book. And in addition to that, it has a great size so you can hold it in your hand perfectly so it feels like a book while you're reading. Along with that, you can always take notes, like highlight things. If I wanted to highlight all this so I remember it, I could say, on here I could put look back. And it gives it a little bookmark so I always know. I could circle if I wanted to look back so I could look up the word species and... Um, just a bunch of words. I could just circle words, do whatever I want, and if I come back to it, it's still there. Which is a really nice feature to have if you have a textbook on here and you want to take notes while your teacher's talking or something like that. On this, we also have messaging. Every plan will include unlimited texting, picture messaging, all the stuff like that that you could want so you can text your friends on this device. We also have mail, internet, a special internet adapted to this tablet just to make it match the tablet a little more on the bigger screen. We have some tips, the Android market where you can go to get most of your apps, which many Android devices have. They also have 100% HD games, so you can get 100% HD games off of this. Another feature is the car panel. So if you bring this into a car, you can use it with the car, and it's easy to use buttons that are super big. So you can go to footprints, which tracks where you go, navigation, voice searching, you can view a map, you can search for places, and I'll just hit exit. So if I go back in here, they also have other included things such as the hub, the HTC hub, where you can download new skins, so you can change the appearance, normal mail apps once again. We also have a PDF viewer, an office, so you can open your documents, a press reader to get um, different newspapers, so here's like USA Today International, so you can see it's like an actual newspaper, and I can just zoom in. So it's like reading a real newspaper, which is really nice. We also have other features, such as Quick Lookup, which can look up things on Google, Wikipedia, anywhere really fast. We have Snap Booth, which I'm just going to put my hand over the uh, camera. But you can do different effects such as iPhoto where you can mirror yourself, pic uh, pixelate yourself with dots, make a bulge, a uh, pucker shot, glowing, sapia, vintage, contrast, a bunch of things like that. They also have Sprint Hotspot included if you plan to buy that option along with other things such as a task manager which turned out to be one of my favorite features which I'll show you in a minute and transfer which will transfer data from an old device to a new one so if you want to keep texting people on both devices and you want to have your old texts on here you can move them in your contacts you can move and copy them over and this task manager is really great so this task manager will show you what's running and my problem on my Evo was battery was always drained by apps running in the background and taking up memory and I can never close them because there's never a good way but this feature is incorporated into this tablet and it allows you to kill apps I can kill just one app at a time if I want to close them or I can hit kill all and it'll kill all the apps which is a great feature the drop down 
quick menu up here has your recently used apps, your notifications, as well as your quick settings, which allows you to um, access your commonly used settings for most people, such as brightness, rotation, Wi-Fi, um, 4G, hotspot, stuff like that, as well as all settings. And the home did change a little. You can see the bar at the bottom has a more boxier design, which can be changed with skins. And you also have this 3D cube type effect when you're changing pages. It kind of looks like you're going around a cube. The same thing when I zoom out, you can see that they're kind of coming in from like a cube almost, which is um, a unique feature. And I thought it added just a nice little effect, which was pretty cool. And this device can also be used in landscape at the home screen so that you can hold it whatever way you want to and still have a nice experience, which I can't do on something like an Evo. And it's just a really nice feature to have so you can hold it whichever way you want to. We'll just put it back into portrait. So now on to my favorite feature of this device is the pen feature. As I showed you, we can go to notes and I'll just create a new notebook. And basically here, if you're in a class and you're doing something, this is where you can take your notes, draw pictures, do whatever. So you could be taking notes and be writing um, just math formulas down, like a simple math formula, um, and be drawing triangles and writing in um, degrees. And it's just much easier to write in here. And it gives you an easier way to write down notes. You can type notes as well as you want, so if you want, so you can just start typing with the keyboard. And that's a good way too. And then you can draw diagrams to go with those, or you can just handwrite everything. Your choice. It also includes a feature to record a lecture, which is nice if it's a very long one and you might miss something, and so you can always refer back to it. You can add attachments, take pictures, you can add calendar dates, add new pages, you can change the brush to different things an inkbrush, paintbrush, a marker, highlighter, pen, so whatever you want. And it's a really nice feature to have. You can even go into landscape mode. So that way if you're in landscape you can do little notes here and just write out things like wet tech. I can write, and that way I can write them smaller. So if I wanted to write Hello, fellow fans. It's much easier to write here, really small, than if I'm in portrait. It gets much easier. So it's a really nice feature ha to have when you want to take notes. And it's just a really great tablet if you're a student or you take a lot of notes at meetings. It's just a really nice thing to have. And even if you're in something such as the home screen and you're looking at the calendar widget and you see something you want to do on the 29th, but you don't have time to write it, so you could just tap on the screen. You would circle the day and just write add meeting or add class. And then just save it. You could send it to someone. You could print it, which is a nice new feature, or just discard it. And that's a nice bonus feature, so if you're ever in anything, and you could always draw anywhere, even if there's a picture, you could just open up a picture, say you want to draw on it, you could just start drawing, I was here. You could do that and draw a little picture of yourself, um, and whatever you want. It just is a nice bonus feature to have this pen. And this pen really makes this device stand out above others because it's something many other devices don't have. Something like my iPad is very nice and it has a great operating system, but it doesn't have something like this pen. So if I want to take notes with it, I have to use my finger and it's just really hard to write and it just gets too complicating. With this, it's very simple to use and I just love all the features it includes and it's a really great tablet and I would recommend it to everyone because it's packed full of features and it's just a really great tablet overall. So this tablet, once again, can be bought from Sprint on the 24th for $3.99 and for a limited time the pen is included but the pen will be $80 without it. 
If you ever have any ideas for a review or want to send us something to review, please email us at wettechreview at gmail.com. And as always, rate, subscribe, and comment. Thanks, see you next time.